Breakfast. Medical examination. Neil Armstrong, Commander Apollo 11. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, I just checked uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's uh, not even collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Right, here we copy. Pretty good little jump. This is Houston, F2, 1160 a second for shadow photography on the sequence camera. Okay. Um, uh, at the foot of the ladder, the lamb foot beds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches, uh, although the surface appears to be uh, very very fine grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. Now I'm going to step off the lamb now. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.
the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene.
Ladies and gentlemen, the first person to land a spacecraft upon the moon and the first person to set foot upon its surface, Mr. Neil Armstrong. So much, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Reed, Mr. McConnell, Ms. Pelosi, members, distinguished guests. We gather in this remarkable monument to American history, this room connecting the houses of Congress, this room where ideological differences fade in the presence of the overpowering force of pride in what we do and what Americans have achieved. It's a privilege to be in this rotunda. High above us, just below the windows, stretches a frieze with 19 panels depicting important events in American history. The most recent of them, number 19, just above me here, depicts the first successful flight of a man in a powered aircraft. by the Brothers Wright 108 years ago. The depiction, in addition to the craft and the responsible individuals, includes an American bald eagle carrying an olive branch. Wilbur and Orville Wright were the 45th recipients of the Congressional Gold Medal and the first for achievements in the world of flight. Subsequently, Congressional Gold Medals have been presented nine times for aviation and rocketry achievements. Today, for the first time, they are being given for achievements in spaceflight. In an appropriate coincidence, Apollo 11's mission emblem and crew patch also featured an American bald eagle carrying an olive branch. The Apollo 11 crew is honored to receive the Congressional Gold Medal and accept on behalf of our fellow Apollo teammates, all those who played a role in expanding the human presence outward from Earth and all those who played a role in expanding human knowledge of the solar system and beyond. We thank the Congress very much. Watch now as the X-15 is launched from the B-52. There's the drop. Before it returns to Earth again, the X-15 may fly some 60 miles straight up at nearly 4,000 miles per hour, more than twice the speed of a bullet. The pilot will be subjected to G-forces and weightlessness, experiences familiar to astronauts. The X-15 is the only craft in the world capable of pilot-controlled flight, both in atmosphere and space. 
Its more than 120 missions have increased our knowledge of pilot performance and flight safety and provided problem answers in developing supersonic aircraft. The experimental X-15 research being done today will play an important part in our air and space travel of the future.